get the fucking. No matter how bad we've been this season, we've done the double over Liverpool. Get in. I don't care how it was done, how bad we were in that game. Well, I do for the long run. But in terms of this game, I don't care. As long as we got the points, and we did in the end. Thank fuck for that. To be honest, <laughs> the team lineup was the exact same as the game against uh, Newcastle. Obviously, there was question marks about Fellaini. There's um, also question marks why... You know, Dormian's playing left-back when he's primarily a right-back. And then you've got Young, who's more of a left-sided player, playing right-back and all that shit. But it, all in all, it was pretty shit in the first half. I'm not going to deny that. Liverpool were all over us, um, but they didn't really create anything too clear-cut. They had a couple of shots in the first half blocked or saved by David De Gea. David De Gea was man of the match. He made two very important saves in the second half. But in the first half, there was really nothing. In terms of United threat... Uh, Martial was like the only one that looked as though he could create something and then right at the end of the half he had a shot that was blocked by Sacco bar that it was, it was piss poor to be honest even Liverpool's chances were taken from 30 40 yards occasionally they break us down they had some nice play where it was a bit of tiki taka one touch thing and Henderson blew it just wide but apart from that no real threat from either side really and then in the second half we, we did step up our game, but Liverpool came out in the first 5-10 minutes and they looked as though they were going to score. They really did. They played high, uh, well, high pressing, fast tempo, and uh, I, I was very worried at that stage. But we managed to hold on thanks to some, pff, I, I don't know what you would call it, but uh, defending of some kind and David De Gea's heroics. Particularly, I think, the 60th, 70th minute where um, Emery Chan had a lethal shot from 25 yards. One of the only shots that Liverpool had from outside the box. They had many that actually went on target. And yeah, it, it was fizzing right into the, like, the corner of the net. And David De Gea just pulls off a world-class stop. And not only that, he gets up and he, he stops the follow-up from, I think, is it Milner? And um, manages to parry it away to safety. Thank fuck. Oh, oh man, if we didn't have De Gea, we'd be... We, we, we'd probably be where Chelsea are right now. So, you know, he deservedly got man of the match. It's just the key moments like that. David De Gea steps up where other goalkeepers would not. And that ultimately is what helped us get the points. Our corners are fucking wank. That's something I'm going to say now. No matter who we have, it's pathetic. We had three or four today. And Daily Blind, every single one got blocked. And it was so annoying. And then in the end, I, I think it might have been a corner that actually won us the game. Um, or was it a free kick? I, I, I can't remember. But anyway, a cross comes in. No, it isn't. Is it even a set play? I think it might just be a Matt across. Anyway, whatever. Matt crosses it in. And Fellaini, of all people, who was still on the pitch. And uh, I can understand why. Like, obviously, he'll win a lot of plaudits now. Because he his head ultimately hit the bar. Came out to Rooney. And Rooney smashes it in. For his first goal at Anfield since 2005, and his fourth in it, well, is uh, he scored in four games in a row for the first time since 2012, which is brilliant. But he win a lot of plaudits for that. But he was just a liability throughout the throughout the game. Again, he was um, getting unnecessary fouls. He was uh, he was marked early on by the ref because of a, a coming together with Lucas and. Um, yeah, it was just disappointing to see, and obviously the Liverpool fans noticed that he was, you know, getting a bit fired up, so they targeted him, and yeah, it was just, uh, I, I, Fellini, I just don't think he suits our team, like, the, the main tactic throughout this match seemed to be punt the ball up to Rooney, now, Rooney was getting a lot of criticism, how is he not getting all the, these chances, but if you look at it, there was... Eight, at least at least eight where Daly Blind or Chris Smalling had punted the ball or bypassed the entire midfield and the wingers no matter who you've got you could have like the best midfield and the best wingers in the world if you're punting it straight up and it's an easy defensive header for Saka what is the striker supposed to do if he tries to contest for the header what who's he going to flick it onto there's no one there so he's got to stand back and hope that Sacco, who usually was the one who was defending them, makes a mistake and mistimes his jump or something, then he can latch on, get on the last man, which is what he did. But apart from that, what can he do? Like, I, I really feel sorry for whoever plays our striker role because it, it, it really is hard getting chances. And the fact that he scored four in a row, well, five and four, I know two are penalties, but still, it, it, it's a hell of an achievement in this team, I'm, I'm telling you something. But anyway, 1-0 against our biggest rivals, you know, I couldn't be happier. I really couldn't care how it happened, but our performances 
do need to improve. All right, we've got the points today, but on another day when David De Gea is maybe on an off day, that was Liverpool's win. They had so many more chances, so many more shots, but in the end, it doesn't matter. We've done that so many times this season where we've been the dominant side on possession usually, but you know, sometimes we've dominated a game and we've lost. So it happened today in our favour this time, thankfully. And yeah, we got the three points. I couldn't be happier. We need to continue this form on though. So come on and let's turn this season around and get top four.